let's just call me I and I'm Pennsylvania. So I wanted to know what your opinion was on this club in my school. Uh, it's a high school and they it's called the Rise Up Club. And basically it's promoting Jesus Christ and helping in daily life. But it, they say all, both of them are religions, but it sounds like a conversion thing. So I don't know what your opinion was on it, if it's legal and all that. Thanks. Bye. Let me tell you a story to lead up to the answer to your question. When Kylie was in like fourth grade or third grade or something like that, she came home with a bring your Bible to school day tract. It was a religious tract passed out by her teacher to all of the students that said, bring your Bible to school day. That's fucking that's that's wrong, right? I mean, it seems wrong at its face. I looked into it a little bit, and as it turns out, that is not illegal because the name of the club that was at the school is called the Good News Club, right? It's a religious club. The teacher was passing out school clubs, flyers from school clubs. That's what the teacher was giving out, and that made it legally acceptable. Now, if the teacher goes off on a tangent about Jesus on her own, with no prodding, no questions being asked, she just starts cramming it down people's throats for no reason, not linked to any club of any sort, that's illegal territory. But any club can exist at a school, as far as I know. I mean, even atheist clubs can exist at schools. So basically, the situation that you've presented is not against the law. That is perfectly legal. The the club can exist, and the teachers can sponsor the, the school clubs, and they can even pass out flyers from the school clubs, even if they're religious clubs. There's a second implied part to this question. Should that be legal? I don't know. That's a really, really complicated thing. Um, I think that schools should... I'm sorry. I think that schools should be allowed to have whatever clubs they want to have. I don't really see a problem with that necessarily. Christian club, atheist club, Muslim club, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But I, I still think teachers should be very, very careful about what they're allowed to say regarding religion. Because they're speaking from a position of authority as an authority figure over these students. And the things that they say hold more weight than just any other student or any other staff member or person. They are speaking as a representative of the U.S. government when they teach kids. They should be extremely careful what they say. Like, not, not just religion-wise, but generally. You can really fuck a kid up with some of the things that you say to them. Some of the things that they learn. You guys remember that girl Elizabeth Smart years and years ago? She was, I think, like 12 years old or something, and she was abducted. She was kidnapped. And all kinds of really terrible shit happened to her. She was held captive for four years by the, these crazy psychos who had abducted her. And finally, she found her way to safety. She found her way home. Went back to public school, with her, living with her parents again. And when she got to her health class, they did the tape analogy, I think. I was listening to this girl talk about it, where they take a piece of tape and they stick it to your your wrist and then you pass it to the person next to you. They stick it on their wrist. The person next to them sticks it on their wrist all the way around. And then they say, sex is like tape. If you do it a lot, you're not sticky anymore. Or, you know, chewing gum. You lose your value if you sleep with somebody a lot. Saying this to a girl, Elizabeth Smart, who was as a kid. People don't realize just how deeply some of that shit affects children when they say some of this shit. They don't realize how seriously they should be taking the things that they say to these children. So anyways, my point is, regarding the question, I think that teachers should be required to take things a lot more seriously than they do. I think it's kind of lackadaisical. They just say whatever the fuck they want. And they know they'll never get in trouble for it because this is a Christian nation. 
even though on paper it's supposed to be secular. It's like there are pockets of this country that are that act like the Christian version of ISIS, and they know they're safe in those pockets.